the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. They just hit him with the wall, teachers? Yeah, they didn't do it. Hey, exactly what you thought teachers would do. Three students, you guys ready to beat them today? Yeah, yeah they are. That, I'm telling you, they're geared up and ready. Teachers, good to see you guys. And it's good to see you at home. Welcome to the classroom. Today, I have the three brightest students to the right and the teachers that taught them everything they knew to my left. They're from Hopewell Crest School in Cumberland County, New Jersey, but now they're from the classroom. That's right, they are going head to head for $500 and the right to say that they're smarter than their teachers. These students want to do it, but can they? It's all on the line and we figure it out in the next 30 minutes. What do you say we start this show right now with a pop quiz? <laughs> your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. I'm excited to see this ready to go down. Who's going to win this thing? I have no idea, but right now we figured out with pop quiz. Let's do this thing. What is seven multiplied by 11? First one in, Mr. Hitchner. 77. 77 is right. Which of the two basic kinds of energy is referred to as stored energy? Hitchner again. Potential. Potential is right. When encouraging someone to hurry up, the abbreviation ASAP stands for what phrase? First one in, Mrs. Shepard. As soon as possible. ASAP, that's right. During the American Revolution, the colonists rebelled against the rule of which British king? Mr. Whitty. King George. Be more specific. King George the Third. The Third is right. According to a popular 1920 song, I scream, you scream, we all scream for what? Mrs. Shepard. Ice cream. Ice cream is right. They just swept the first card. Students, let you guys go on right here on this second card right here. Traditionally, how many years apart are the Summer Olympics held? Mr. Hitchner. Four years. Four years is right. What is the name of the mountain range that runs along the eastern edge of California and into Nevada and is home to Lake Tahoe? Mr. Whitty. Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada Mountains. Good. How many humps does the Asian Bactrian camel have? Two. Gabriella. Two. How about it? Two. She said, I'm buzzing in early. I loved it. Extra credit question. You guys can get up to 30 points right here. What does the Spanish phrase por favor mean in English? First one in, Mr. Hitchner. Please. Please, if you please. What is the term for any hired professional soldier who serves in a foreign army for profit and not for any political reasons or interests? Mr. Witty. Mercenary. Mercenary is right. Seems like everyone is jumping on the teacher's side right now. Whoa, mama! We got up to the century mark here in the first round. 100 points after pop quiz, and all three of you were lights out on fire there. Students, you got 10 points. The good news is you broke the ice, and that's what it's all about, right? Hey, today we have the students and teachers from Hopewell Crest School in Bridgeton, New Jersey, home of the Hawks. I'm with one Shayla. This is a great school, right? Yeah. You excited to be part of the show today? Yeah. I can't wait to meet you guys. You got to meet her. Hi, my name is Shayla. I'm in eighth grade. And you heard of triple threat. Well, I'm a quadruple threat. Hi, my name is Gabriella McMahon. And even though um, my teachers taught me everything I know, today they're going to get schooled. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm in eighth grade. And today they're going to get their booties kicked. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mrs. Shepard. I teach third grade at Hopewell Crest School. And as a mom of three boys, there's nothing that can scare me. Hi, I'm Mr. Whitty. I teach third and fourth grade. And Mr. Ogman is my best friend. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mr. Hitchner. I coach basketball and soccer, and today every shot they put up is getting blocked. I'm calling them, I think they might be a professional trivia team. Ms. Shepard, I said, how'd you guys get selected for the show? And you said... That we were kind of, uh, Mr. Ogden kind of tricked us. Yeah, you guys thought you were going where? To an establishment Right, that serves adult trivia. beverages and plays trivia. To Next thing you know, trivia. she's on television. Yeah. And here she is today, and I love it. I'll tell you what, you three came out rocking. But students, right now is your time. You want to send your teachers to detention? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. give you that opportunity. Yeah. Let's do it. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. 
If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. The animation says it all. You guys know how to play detention. We'll see how well we do today. Students, you're behind, but right now starts the comeback. Shayla, your team captain today. So rally the troops. Let's get them here in this round. But here's your category, ladies. It's social studies. Play or pass? I think we should pass. We're going to pass it. We're going to pass it to the hottest team ever on the classroom. Here we go. Hopefully they've cooled off during this round. Let's see how well they do. What is the name of the ancient military leader who used elephants in the Second Punic War against Rome, famously crossing the Alps with them? Oh, I knew this. I know his name. Let's make him look Deep in thought, everyone's Just staring at Mr. Witty like he's gonna come up with this answer. One. Did they cool off? We need an answer. Carthage. Could not get it done, ladies. They have cooled off. The answer was Hannibal. Hannibal crossed it right there. So he knew it, though. He's pounding the desk. So how about this one? Good pass from you guys. And you get to send one of your teachers to detention. Who's it going to be? This is strategy. This is strategy. Need an answer, guys? We're going to send Mr. Hitchner. Mr. Hitchner is out of the game. I mean, who do you send? I mean, at that point, everyone's been answering questions, but I like how you played this one. I like how you played it. And teachers, we go back to you now. With this category, you can pass or play on science. Play. play. We'll play. They're going to play. Set with a quiet confidence. What is the name for the process in which ore is heated and melted to separate the useful metal from other elements? I think I got it. Gonna need an answer here, guys. Smelting. Smelting is right. Nicely done. Woo. I didn't think they had that one, and you got that right. Nicely done. But now you get to send one of these three, Shayla, Gabrielle, or Katie, to detention. Gabby. Gabby, eighth grader. She's out of the game. Gabby, have you ever had a detention before? No. See, first one. All right. Glad you can do it right here in the classroom. Yep. Shayla, Katie, we go back to you guys right now with this one. How do you feel about television? We're going to play it. What Pretty Little Liars star got the title role in the Riverdale spinoff, Katie Keene? No. I should watch Riverdale. I don't know. I should watch the Pretty Little Liars. I don't even know. Oh, gosh. I have no idea. Uh-oh. Need an answer? <laughs> No, the answer was Lucy Hale. Lucy Hale is not is what we were looking for there. I hate to do this to you, but Shayla or Katie, one of you is going to be out. Katie. Katie, leaving team captain Shayla all by herself. <laughs> Shay Shayla's giving the why me look right now. All right, well, hold on, because you, you could be up. But teachers, it is yours. Category is sports. I'm good at We'll play. We're playing. You're going to play? We're playing. In May of 2019, what Philadelphia athlete trademarked the words, the process? Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. Do you know what? Joel Embiid. Say it. Joel Embiid. For the win, Joel Embiid is the process, and you win the round. Shayla, you get your butt in detention, and on top of it, Mr. Hitchner, you get out of there. Teachers, survive the round right now and only send one teacher to detention. And they got another board, 140 points on the board right now. They're playing a great game. Students, though, are going to fight their way back into this thing. We got our class next, and then the final exam. So don't go anywhere. That's a sign right there. Go Hawks. That says it all. What else do you need? Just go Hawks. Hey, welcome back to the classroom on the show today. It's the students and teachers from Hopewell Crest School in Cumberland County, correct? Yeah. Uh, your name? Daniel. Daniel, you've seen a lot. You said, uh, Richard, this was during the break. He goes, Richard, I want to get into I want to get into broadcast. So let's in, let's analyze this show as we've seen it. We got a big second half coming up. What can we expect? I think that um, the students might have a chance to come back if especially if we do a final exam. Oh, see? And I'll tell you what, how good was that analysis, audience? <laughs> this guy's got a future.
Don't get in the games you're hosting, man. I'll be out of a job. All right, the score is teachers in the lead right now, but a lot of game left to be played, and we are going to art class. We're going to see their inner Picasso right now. All right, here's how this game works. Each team selected one player to draw on this board right here. The trailing team's going to go first, so Gabby's up here with me right now. Gabrielle, are you an, are you an artist? Yeah. Yeah, of course, right? You're up here right now, so that's going to be awesome. You're going to get, obviously, a ton of points here, but you're going to select a card with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. Then you're going to have five seconds to draw on this board. Teammates, get ready, because you're going to have ten seconds to talk and make one correct guess. You get it right? Boom, 30 points gets added to your score, and you guys need those points. We could do that right here. If you guess incorrectly, though, I'm going to give you two more tries, but the points decrease with each roll. So here we go. Blue or red? I'll take blue. She's going to take the blue because it matches her school colors. Gabrielle, open that card up right there as I get ready to uncap a marker for you here. And you take a look at your word. Do you love it? No. Okay, well, we can't change now. I'm ready to start if you are. Five okay. seconds on the clock. Go super fast. Go. And stop. Okay. <laughs> I don't know either because I didn't look at the card, but I'm not positive. Maybe your friends are. You guys can talk. Make one correct guess. Answer? Star? No. Great guess. We move on. Okay. Five more seconds. Go ahead. That, wow, could do it. Ten seconds, guys. What are we looking at? A whale? We are hitting every underwater sea creature. But you got ten seconds to finish this round. Go ahead, take your time and finish this drawing up. I'll tell you what, Katie, Shayla, you've done a great job sitting and talking through this. We finish this one up. Last chance for 10 points. <laughs> One last guess. Katie, Shayla, what is it? Like a mother. Like a mother. Ooh, wow, a good answer. You guys had a shark. You had a whale. But we were looking for... Dolphin. A dolphin. <laughs> so close. I'll tell you what, Gabriella, great job from you there. You're going to switch with Mr. Witty as he comes out. We clean the board. I'll tell you what, you did a good job there. I'm going to give you this red card, Mr. Witty. Open this up immediately. Stand right here. Now, teachers have been hot. They've been good with the answers, but are they good with the drawing? How well of an artist are you? Awesome. Five seconds. Go. Wow. Ten seconds, teachers. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. 30 points if you can get it, this one. Thumbs up. We go back to round two, Mr. Witty. Five more seconds. You're going to do that for five seconds, aren't you? Yep. And what are we looking at? Oh. Thumb. Thumb? Thumb is right. It's going to get you 20 points added to your score. Gets him up to 160. Art class never disappoints. Mr. Witty, you're a pretty good artist as well. Now, before we go to break, I'm going to give the students a chance right now to get a little more points onto their score. So we're going to extra credit. credit today and both teams will have 60 seconds of their commercial break to write down their answer here it is 10 points let's do it if a $100 pair of shoes are now on sale for 20% off how much are the shoes get your best Black Friday mindset going hopefully you know the answer we're gonna have it for you when we come right back Today, it's the students and teachers from Hopewell Crest School in Cumberland County. Teachers, slight lead over top of the students right now. But the students have a lot of game left to play. We've got a little extra credit on the line, too, to add to your score. So let's see how well you do with this question. If a $100 pair of shoes, which, by the way, are out of my price range, are now on sale for 20% off. Now we're talking. How much are the shoes? We're going to start with our students. Shaylin, how much are the shoes? We said $80. 80 bucks is right. Yeah, it's a little bit better than 100. 
is a lot for a pair of shoes. Mrs. Shepard? We also said $80. That's $80 a pair of shoes. Both sides get some points. Let's talk about some money, too. What do you say? $500. Where's that going to go if you guys win it? We were going to do eighth grade school activities for the end of the year. Nice. Something like a slip and slide, the whole nine yards, mm. a big party. All right. And teachers for you guys? Our faculty family is growing, so we're trying to upgrade the lounge a little bit. Yeah, all right. New Keurig machine for them. All right, here we go, guys. Put your best smile on and look right into the camera. We're going to picture day. Here we go. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing. We went ahead and covered it with boxes so you can't see it. We're going to give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, we'll move three of those boxes. You buzz in, you get it correct, 10 points gets added. If you get it wrong, you're locked out. The other side, buzz in and steal. Here we go. Three pictures today. Picture number one. They are interactive. Clue two. This 2019 toy responds to touch and movement. 2019 toy. Clue three. Three more boxes, please. You can teach this toy bird to fly. Gabriella. A hatchimal. Is that a hatchimal? <laughs> Incorrect. Teach it for the steal. Mr. Hitcher's like, oh, I've never seen that toy in my life. Mm -hmm. The answer, Owlies, is what we were looking for. Owlies, that's the hottest toy going on right now. Here we go, guys. Picture two. Let's see how well you do. This person can play multiple instruments. Mr. Witty. Prince. Is that Prince? <laughs> Students for the steal. Good guess. Then I give you clue two. He recently collaborated with Taylor Swift on one of their hit songs. That's every song for Taylor. And I give you clue number three with three more pictures. Here we go. He's the front man of the band Panic at the Disco. I'm going to give you this one here. It's Brendan Urie right there. Let's see a picture of him. There he is. He was Taylor's co-star on that song, and we move on to our final picture with this. It opened in 1825. Clue two. It helped make New York City the center of commerce in the United States. Mr. Witty. Empire State Building. Is that the Empire State Building? Incorrect. Students for the steal if you'd like it. I give you clue number three. This waterway connects the Great Lakes with the Hudson River. Answer here was the Erie Canal. The Erie Canal. That's the connector. That's what we were looking for. Hey, wrap this game up. Teachers, 170 on the board. Students, 20. And it all comes back to this. And that's final exam. Let's play. Here's the topic. It's now I know my ABCs. That means the answers to this question are in alphabetical order. I love this. So the first answer is going to start with an A. The second answer starts with a B. And watch this, Shayla. The third answer starts with a C. C. I wish I could give you points for that, but I'm not. But now you understand how to play. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about this final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. Now, you're going to work together during the commercial. No writing quite yet, guys. First, I'm going to give you all three of these questions, and they go a little something like this. On December 3rd, 2019, Respawn Entertainment announced a short delay to the new update for what free-to-play Battle Royale-style video game, which included a level cap increase, progression changes, and more packs. That's an A. Here's your B. In geometry, what is the term for any line or plane that divides a segment, angle, or shape into two equal parts? That's a B. Here's a C. What gas used by plants during photosynthesis do humans breathe out? There are your questions. 60 seconds on the clock. And I don't want you to start it quite yet, but as soon as we go to commercials, I want you to press start. These three students are going up against these three teachers. It would be a comeback for the ages, but I believe in Shayla, Gabriella, and Katie that they can do it. I hope you do too, so stick around. We come back, we find out if they can get it done.
Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Of the classroom today we have students and teachers from Hopewell Crest schooling going head to head now look at this I love this teachers you came in you're doing what teachers do but students you're here to try to do what students do and that's make a comeback so here we go now I know my ABC's it's all in the final exam each correct answer is worth 100 points let's do this thing on December 3rd 2019 respawn entertainment announced a short delay new update for what free to play battle royale style video game Included a level increase, progression changes, and more packs. It's one of my favorite. Katie, what'd you say? We said we didn't know. Hey, we said A, which was on theme for ABC's. Teachers, you said. We went with animatronics. <laughs> animatronics, Apex Legends was the right answer. That was your A. Here we go with B. In geometry, what is the term for any line or plane that divides a segment, angle, or shape into two equal parts? Students, I hate to do this to you, but teachers, if you get this right, the game is over. Right. You said, Mr. Witty. Bisecting. Bisecting is right. Teachers with 270 win the game. Come on out, guys. The third one, what gas used by plants during photosynthesis do humans breathe out? Students said it right. It's carbon dioxide. Hey, thanks for playing. I hope you guys had a great time. We'll see you next time on The Classroom. That's a big